Well, very simply put, uh, the largest pool of capital in Europe is in the insurance sector, about $11 trillion worth of investment that sits inside the insurance industry. Just parenthetically, by comparison, the U.S. pension industry is the largest pool of capital in the United States. The biggest obstacle to the insurance industry investing in REITs, using REITs as part of the real estate allocation, is the somewhat punitive uh, or differentiated treatment of the risk capital weighting of REITs at 39% versus direct property at 25%. Realigning or aligning um, the risk charge on REITs to direct property would remove the largest obstacle to the largest pool of capital using listed real estate stocks as part of their real estate allocation. Well, first, uh, I need to say that uh, real estate per se uh, is uh, an important investment uh, as a class for the insurers. Why is that? Uh, it is because the uh, real estate can offer uh, values and cash flows that are stable uh, and provide a link to inflation. Also, it adds diversification to the entire portfolio. Now, on the other hand, it is very time-consuming and costly uh, for a single insurer to build and maintain uh, a global portfolio with all the things they have to do in such a portfolio. So here, REITs come into play uh, and can provide uh, an advantage uh, to us. Why is that? Uh, because you can find portfolios with a high degree of transparency, with high-quality assets, high-quality management teams, uh, and transparency about their strategies and their financing, and also um, with limited financial leverage. So these property companies are very interesting for us because they provide the access that we need to the assets with the characteristics that we like. Well, if we do a blue sky scenario analysis and we say that and recognize that there are 11 trillion dollars worth of assets inside the European insurance industry, and if we assume that an asset allocation might include 10% towards real estate out of the total portfolio, and we think of, of the U.S. example where the pension industry, which has $22 trillion worth of assets in it, and also uses real estate as part of, part of their asset allocation, in the U.S. it's very common for a large pension fund to use REITs as part of the real estate portfolio at 40%, 50%, or 60% even in some cases of their total real estate exposure. So if we say the European insurance industry uses half of its real estate allocation to invest in listed real estate, including REITs, that number could be as high as 500 billion euros. That's a blue sky scenario, but it shows what there is to play for if you compare that number to the total value of publicly traded shares of real estate companies in Europe being 250 billion euros, 300 billion, uh, 300 billion euros at the outside. So not to say that there would be necessarily 500 billion euros to flow into the sector immediately or ever, but there could be easily tens of billions or more to eventually come into the sector as permanent allocation of capital to the sector. Thank you for that question. It's very interesting. Uh, it would be, you know, uh, interesting to, to sort that out. But the point is, you cannot really compare. There's an easy answer to it. The last three years, um, our, our REIT portfolios have outperformed uh, the other types of uh, real estate investments um, quite significantly, but with a high volatility. On the other hand, why can't they really compare? Because we follow different strategies. We are investing in different markets and asset types, so you cannot really set it uh, one against the other. Uh, what I can say overall is that we are very pleased with the performance of our REIT portfolios.